I don't know. I feel like this is this is a uh, this is some optimism speaking here. Just to show you how crazy it is and just to show you it's not just me it's not just you it's not just any other person with two functioning brain cells to rub together okay it's not just us who gets it it's also the rabid left hacks over at cnbc a lot of the, the cable news channels but CN cnbc in particular i want you to watch this interaction i'm gonna play a clip for you and i want you to watch this interaction that they have with Kamala's economic advisor pushing back, CNBC pushing back on him about just how insane and unconstitutional, by the way, just how crazy this entire concept is. Watch. All the revenue that comes in from these unrealized gains taxes and the other ta taxes in the tax in the Harris plan are going to go to what creating what she calls more opportunity. It's to make sure but that not every newborn born in this country gets six thousand dollars. Using the services. Well, look, I, I, you're, you're arguing that this is some sort of foreign concept that's completely uh, unknown. Well, it's probably, in the US tax code. It's probably not unconstitutional. It's probably, and it was never in, in anyone's intent to, it's not to, income. to not, tax. It's not an income tax. And it's never going to happen, probably. Not in, not in, well, my, I'm not going to say my life. I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> not in Becky's <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, that's crazy and also unconstitutional and also not going to happen in our lifetimes because it's that insane. But it's not just them. OK, let's not stop there. Let's play another one of Kamala's own. This is Representative Ro Khanna and Ro Khanna, who should be one of Kamala's spokespeople. I mean, he is a member of her party. He should be as they are so often on the left, he should be repeating, spouting off whatever line she has decided she wants them to spout off the, the entire way. And instead, he goes on TV and he's like, um, it's 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 funny actually because you'll watch him. He tries to he tries to give her the benefit of the doubt in like her intention. He's like, I mean, I understand the intention, but this is a really terrible idea. Watch. Let me tell you why I don't think a blanket tax and unrealized gain is a good thing. I mean, let's say you're an entrepreneur. You create a company and it gets to 100 million or 200 million on paper. Now, if you're taxing that, you're probably going to force that person to sell it. They're probably going to sell it to private equity. Do you really want the entrepreneurs to be forced to sell their companies to larger institutions and to decline in value? I just, I don't think that that's what you want for a startup that would be ecosystem. That unintended consequence. That would they're, they're going, if Jeff, Jeff Bezos wouldn't have to do that. They're going after these, these very, uh, I think the whole policy is demagoguing to go after these people that they say pay less uh, of a tax rate than their maid does, and they have billions of dollars. I, I get the, I get why, but th this is not the right way to do it. And also, 90, 95 percent of investments in startups fail, and so you're going to disincentivize investments in those startups. But so watching these, it seems like we're all in agreement that taxes on unrealized gains is really dumb. It's also really, um, it's a, it's a policy that destroys economies, that destroys people that destroys those of us who are paying the taxes. I mean, it, you could walk away from that just having your whole livelihood ruined because you paid taxes on an asset that you didn't sell and you waited until you were losing and then you had to sell it because you were living in, let's say Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's America and times were tough and you just needed something liquid. So you sold it when you were at a loss and you can never get back the money that you paid that you never actually earned on paper. What kind of crap is that? Kick you while you're not. Like, we're all in agreement that that is really, really freaking crazy to do to an American citizen. But there's a problem with that. See, here in Texas, where we boast about low taxes, oh, where we, liberty, give me liberty or give me death, we don't have income taxes. Um, we boast about that, as I mentioned earlier, we're actually paying an unrealized gains tax here in this state every single year. They just call it a property tax. But make no mistake, a property tax is as crazy as Kamala Harris's unrealized gains tax. Because here in the state of Texas, maybe I don't have to remind you guys, but I'm going to anyway. Every year in the state of Texas, you have to pay government officials an amount of money based on how much they have determined that your home is worth. 
they set the criteria for determining how much your home is worth. You don't get a, you don't get a say in the matter. You sure you can go protest it. You can go fight it. You can go argue it. You're going to waste a ton of time. And sometimes you're not going to be successful because they have the ultimate authority on what that amount is. And you have to pay taxes on that. Now, did you sell the home that year? Well, no, not necessarily. Does it have anything to do with your income that you've made that year or how much you've actually gained, actual gains that you've earned that year? No. No. You just keep paying the tax based on their assessment. So not only do you have to pay a tax on money you haven't actually made or earned, but it's the government who gets to determine the assessed value. That's quite the rigged system, I'd say. And we talk a whole lot here in the state of Texas about caring about rigged systems. Why not this? And on top of that, you never truly own your home. Again, just like Kamala's policies, that's insane. That's stuff that you think that you would hear in like this socialist dystopia where the government just takes and takes and takes and takes and you think you own your property, but you don't. That's like crazy, you guys. But hey, it's happening right here in the state of Texas every single year in the no income tax state of Texas. And when we talk about just how insane it gets, allowing the government to just arbitrarily decide uh, how much your home is worth, what is its assessed value, how much you should pay every year in property taxes for your home, regardless of whether or not you actually made money off of how much that value of your home is worth. 